it is inside k of n so whale form is essentially saying that uh, because as we said that this theta group and kl so they fit in a central extension so you take any two elements so you take the any arbitrary two lifts on your theta group and you look at the commutator so that gives an element in the uh, complex numbers non zero complex numbers and uh, so you get a value here so so this is a whale form like this so at least you check that this is actually a uh, isotropic subspace so in that case actually uh, you can look at its quotient so then the l uh, line bundle l descends down on this quotient and if l is of uh, any type uh, so then uh, m is principally polarized that means h0 of m is 1 and uh, so you have this so in particular actually we ju can just so this is an isogeny and uh, so in particular uh, using projection formula uh, one can write uh, pi lower star of l is um, actually because firstly for O A, so we call this B. Actually, I'm over time. Five minutes, shall I take? Okay. Yeah. So pi low star O A is actually a direct sum of degree zero line bundles, where chi are characters on H. So given any character, one can associate uh, L chi. We are in peak zero. So these are line bundles on B actually. I mean because B, uh, this is principally polarized, so there is an isomorphism to pick zero B. So you have K L which is H cross H hat. So you look at the uh, image here which is just H hat. So this is an isomorphism. There is some standard map here. Oh, I think so. You can take its image. So you get the line bundles of degree zero. So pi lower star of this guy is this. Uh, so in particular, pi. Uh, uh, so here actually, it is isomorphic to pi upper star. So pi lower star of L uh, actually just becomes. Let me write sections of L. Is just uh, direction of sections of M tensor L chi. M is twisted by this degree zero line bundles. So actually, even though I mean uh, I was unsuccessful to uh, get some proof using uh, this theta group action. So at least what one thought is was to descend this and split your space of sections uh, by this decomposition. And now actually we just look at this multiplication map. Yeah, and uh, so now actually, if you want to look at this multiplication map, uh, sim to h zero f, and actually this uh, isogeny also says says that the sections of L power square, this can be written as direct direct sum of sections of m square tensor L chi. So, in particular, you are looking at this multiplication now, and so you have splitting here. Uh, so, this uh, H0L you split it uh, by this decomposition, and also for L square. So, for example, you have M square and so on. So, many things. And uh, so here you can uh, so each so now you would look at this uh, map 
restricted to this species. Uh, so, here you have, uh, so the component which gets mapped to this H 0 m square is precisely going to be H 0 of m tensor L chi times H 0 of m tensor L chi inverse. And, uh, and here actually you will fix one chi here and uh, vary the other chi's here. So, it turns out that uh, it suffices to show subjectivity of this map and uh, so essentially I will just say why uh, the main ingredient to show so, to show subjectivity of rho chi. So, this is the trivial chi and then you will get the rho chi non trivial. So, for example, if you are just looking here, so there is this uh, theorem of Wertinger uh, which actually appeared in Mumford's uh, paper on prim varieties. So, which essentially says that uh, So, which says that uh, because yeah, so you are looking at this uh, H 0 of m square, the linear system of m square which is m is principally polarized. So, that means suppose it has a theta device, the unique divisor uh, that is usually called as a theta divisor. So, then this is the 2 theta linear system. So, theorem of Wertinger says that uh, that there is a form on this uh, a non degenerate form on this vector space. So, that on H 0 m square. So, which is symmetric or uh, anti symmetric according to uh, the order of 0 which lies on the theta divisor uh, and the uh, yeah, so, essentially what we need here is that, so there exists a non degenerate form, so that uh, H 0 m square is canonically identified with its dual. So, essentially when we are looking at this uh, map and what and he further says that when you are looking at this uh, map into its linear system of uh, P. So, essentially the standard map phi m square uh, maps it into m square dual, but this isomorphism says that there is a canonical isomorphism with the linear system of m square and this composition is essentially the map uh, A maps to So, this composition is saying that this is just T A star theta plus T minus A star, because there is a what is that called? theorem of cube which says that, that uh, this uh, divisor is a divisor of this linear system of m square. Okay, so, so, this is all uh, part of Wertinger's theorem and this actually we can so, now actually if you just want to look at uh, how to translate, how to understand this map actually. So, essentially it what it says is that So, essentially what it says that uh, yeah, so H hat actually it corresponds to uh, a subgroup inside your uh, abelian variety B it is a subgroup inside R B and then what it says to say that this map is surjective. So, it is same as saying that this map uh, that the image of, so let me write that rho triviality. So, this is a map between vector spaces. So, this is, but projectively you can using this theorem say that uh, image of H hat under 
under this composed map say uh, spans uh, this linear system. This is what uh, uh, the geometric uh, analog we get actually. So, so to so this is what we reduce to and uh, so actually then one can prove a more general result uh, or uh, make a, a very general form that if suppose if uh, too many say z and some ln n. So, it is a polarized abelian variety. So, this is of uh, dimension g and if g is a um, yeah yeah. So, I will take n to be a divisor actually d is an ample divisor and uh, so if you have g which is so, if G contains G is a subgroup, subgroup of A and moreover it is contained in D, then the, <coughs> the cardinality of G can be at most uh, D raised to G, the self intersection number and uh, by riemann rock actually this self intersection number can be identified with H 0 of uh, Z D times G factorial by Riemann rock. So, this statement uh, uh, gives the theorem. So, from that you need to get bound? Yeah, uh, because essentially it will mean that, so suppose if, so essentially we reduce by uh, using this theorem, this is same as saying that this uh, spans m square. So, if it does not span, so that means it is contained in a hyperplane section inside this linear system of m square. So, that hyperplane section uh, restricts to an ample divisor on your uh, on your uh, abelian variety b, but essentially h hat is a group actually uh, a finite group which is contained in a divisor. So, but if you have a finite subgroup which is contained in an ample divisor, then this statement says that this should be, this is bound by this number. So, if we assume that if uh, you, because essentially the h hat, the cardinality of h hat is same as, so essentially in this setup, uh, cardinality of h hat, because you are looking at an isogeny. So, this is just h 0 of a l because h cross h hat this is product is just uh, h 0 of l and this is the dual. So, that is how you get this number. 